Okay, so I've read the patient's chart. I'm gonna wash my hands before entering the room. Knock, knock. Good morning, how are you? Well, how about yourself? I'm doing okay, thank you. Well, my name's Shakora. I'll be your student physical therapist assistant today. Um, before we get started with our treatment, can I just have you confirm the spelling of your last name and then also your date of birth for me? J-O-N-E-S-1-27-91. Perfect. Alrighty, Mr. Jones. So I read your chart and I see that you're having some pain in your lower back, huh? Yes. Looks like you were lifting um, something heavy and kind of tweaked it a little bit. Unfortunately. Okay. Um, so right now, are you having any pain? Just a little. Yeah. So on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being absolutely no pain and then 10 being the worst pain that you've ever been in, how bad would you say that pain is right now? I would say a four. About a four? Okay. And is there anything that you do that makes that pain kind of go away or feel a little bit better? Uh, sometimes when I use ice, uh, sometimes when I use heat. Okay. And then what about makes it feel worse? Uh, just usually when I sit around and I'm stiff, I stiffen up some. Okay, gets a little tight on you? Yes. Alrighty. Okay. And then before we get started, can I have you just tell me like in your own words, um, some of your goals for therapy? What is it that you're looking to accomplish? Uh, just improving the strength, overall mobility and stability. Just moving more efficiently. Okay, awesome. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our treatment. Before we do, do you mind if I take your vitals? No your heart rate okay I got the patient's vitals alrighty so today we're going to do a couple of different exercises that's going to help us to kind of strengthen our lower back okay okay alrighty so um, you may or may not be familiar with this first one um, that I'm going to show you it's called posterior pelvic tilting so we have an anterior tilt it's kind of like when our hips go down towards the floor our bottom pokes out and we get that curve in our lower back and then we also have the posterior so if you bring your hips back the other way kind of sink them in and keep it like that flat back and neutral spine so that's what we're going to work on today so i'm just going to have you bend your knees up for me perfect and if you don't mind i'm just going to place my hand underneath your lower back here okay so for our posterior tilt and you can place it there you go so for our posterior tilt, I want you to focus on taking your hips and kind of bringing it backwards, drawing your abdominal, abdominal muscles in towards your spine. Think about your belly button touching your back, okay? And then pushing down into my hand, trying to squish it with your back. Perfect, so you feel that there? Yeah. So that's the movement that we're trying to accomplish. Go ahead and relax. Okay, so we're gonna do that a total of 10 times just so you kind of get the hang of it, okay? Okay. okay go ahead and do it and count for me. One. So that's going to be the movement that we're going to kind of incorporate into the rest of our exercises for today, okay? Okay. Alrighty. So <clears throat> next what we're going to do is I'm going to have you take, you can have this arm by your side here. So I'm going to start off with your right arm. I'm just going to have you take that above your head with it straight and then bringing it back down. And we're going to do that um, for a total of five times and then we'll switch and do the other arm, okay? okay. So again, go ahead and get into that posterior pelvic tilt, not lifting your, there you go. Just, just like that, perfect. And go ahead and start with the right arm. Do it right above your head. And again, one. Two. Two. Three. Keep your abs strong there. Four. And five. Perfect, okay, go ahead and switch arms for me. One. Do you any pain? No. Great. <clears throat> okay, so the next one that we're gonna do is going to be, um, we're gonna lift our knees towards our chest. We're gonna do opposite knees to, opposite, or to your chest, okay? okay? 
<clears throat> so again, we're gonna get into that posterior pelvic tilt. We'll start off with our left knee, bring it up towards our chest, okay? And then right back down. We're going in alternate. Then make sure you're breathing. Four, five, six, one more. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. That's good. Relax. <clears throat> Feeling okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next one that we're going to do is. Um, we're gonna do glute bridges. So what that is, is in that same position, <clears throat> the posterior pelvic tilt, we're gonna lift our bottom up off of the mat. Just make sure that when you're coming down, our body kind of has a natural inclination to go back into that anterior tilt with the curve. So we just really wanna concentrate on keeping our back nice and straight when we're coming back down too, okay? okay. So just to ensure that we're doing that, I'm just gonna put my hand again up underneath your, your back here, okay? <clears throat> okay, ready? Glute bridge coming up. There you go. One. Mm -hmm. Lift them up as much as Two. possible. There you go. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There you go. Two more. Nine. Is that okay? Yes. Feeling any pain with that one? I know that one's a little bit more challenging to do. No, I'm just getting a good workout. Okay. Um, <clears throat> before we do the most advanced one, I'm gonna have you um, do a different one. So we're gonna kick our leg straight out. So I'll show you just like that and bring it back and forth, okay? So again, go ahead and do the tilt and start off with your left leg, kick it straight out, perfect. Go on a 10. Two, so you can count for me. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. There you go. Eight. Five, two. Nine. And 10. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and relax just for a second. <clears throat> Okay, the last one that we're gonna do, so we're gonna incorporate that glute bridge that we did, gotcha. and then we're gonna do marches with those, okay? So I'll have you, you don't have to do it right now, I'm gonna talk you through it. So we're gonna come up into that glute bridge position, and then we're gonna start off with our left leg, just kind of taking a small step up in the air, putting it down, and then stepping up with the right leg. So we're gonna alternate, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? I think so. <laughs> you got this, okay, go ahead and Get into that tilt. Awesome. Glute bridge coming up. There you go. And stepping up with the left. Perfect. And you don't have to go as high. There you go. Right there. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Relax. And that one's probably a little challenging, huh? Yes. Well, you did great. That's awesome. And, Thank um, you. <clears throat> and if that one gets to be too tough, then we can go back to some of the previous ones and do those, okay? Yes. All right. So now I'm just going to show you a couple of different stretches. Um, you can go ahead and relax your legs down too. All right. So we're going to do a stretch for your hamstrings because believe it or not, your hamstrings and your lower back, um, they work kind of hand in hand. So if you have tight hamstrings, then you're probably going to have a tight lower back too. So if we get those hamstrings nice and stretched, that'll help to alleviate some of that pain that you're feeling, okay? okay. Alrighty, so we're going to start off, we're going to use this band here. We'll do your left leg first. So I'm going to have you put this just underneath the bottom of your foot like that. We're going to keep our right leg extended straight out. And then this one we're going to raise in the air, pulling back towards you, okay? So try to keep your, your leg as straight as possible. Um, if it gets to be too intense, you can put a slight bend in your knee, okay? Okay. So we'll 
get this around your foot. I'm gonna be holding on to these bands here. Okay, there you go. Good raising leg. And just until you feel a stretch. Two, three, four. Good. Breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Relax. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. That's great. Good. I'm gonna switch feet. Okay, and do the same thing. we're going to want to progress um, up until we can do it for about 30 to 60 seconds the longer you do it the better that stretch is going to start to feel good over time believe it or not it might be a little bit tight now but we'll work through it and get you there okay, okay. all right and the next stretch that we're going to do is going to stretch a muscle called our piriformis so it's one of our our hip muscles here okay so i'm going to have you bend up both of your knees okay we're going to start with your left leg here so we're gonna grab down at the left ankle and the left knee. We're gonna bring it up and out. So we're gonna make sure that our knee is pointed out, kind of rested our ankle over our opposite knee, okay? Okay, okay so we're gonna bend this leg up. Go ahead and pull it over your knee. There you go. Grabbing at the ankle and the knee. And then also you can give a little bit of tension here if it's not too much. I'm kind of just holding that stretch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Relax. Okay, we're going to switch sides. Grabbing at the ankle. There you go. So make sure you're breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Relax. You can go ahead and extend your legs out and relax completely. And with that stretch too, we're going to try to work our, our way up um, to see if we can do it between 30 and 60 seconds as well, okay? Okay. Um, are you having any pain now? Is it feeling any better, any worse than when we first started our treatment? It's about the same. About the same? Okay. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to take your vitals again. the patient's vitals all right mr jones do you have any questions for me at all i know thank you so much you've been very informative and professional awesome well thank you for the compliment um and thanks for working with me and i'll see you on your next visit okay thank you all right